and this is my Centuria japonica, Centuria japonica. I cleaned the leaves. If you remember, it had lots of salt accumulation. The leaves. It looks quite nice. I decided to transfer my um, Sidera japonica to semi hydroponics, and for that I chose uh, this. Um, these are very good. These clay pebbles I have tried before, and the wick the water all the way up. What I'm doing now is that I I washed them, and now I I put them in boiling water. So this will both disinfect it and the water will um, be absorbed by the pebbles. And as you can see, they get heavy and then they start to sink. When all of them have sunk, they are ready to be used. They are not as regular as those IKEA clay pebbles, but these ones, they work really well. Even the top pebbles in a, in a pot with water on the bottom, uh, they should get wet. The water goes all the way to the top. And this was bought from a web shop that is specialized in hydroponics and other things like that. So this is made for that and it should be really good. So I will leave it in hot boiling water until, <laughs> until all of them have sunk. Probably tomorrow or maybe today, I don't know, when it's not hot anymore, I will try to repot my Sideria into hydroponics, semi-hydroponics. <laughs> so here is my Sideria japonica in semi-hydroponics. I planted it yesterday. I tried to film it, but it was a bit difficult, so... I'm only showing you the final thing and as you can see it's now potted let me take from here the water level uh, is a bit lower already you can see the holes it has uh, lower a bit it's around here you can see it and uh, the pebbles are still wet up the way to the top and this has been after a full day as you can see this stays quite moist i will check it i want to see how it does so check a little every day but i'm liking this already because i don't have to spray this plant every day <laughs> very nice I hope you will like it. It's the 27th of March and I want to show you how the little Sideria japonica is doing in semi-hydroponics. So this has been, is it about two weeks since I, I reported it? And I must say I'm really impressed with these Leca beads. It's only one centimeter there on the bottom. It has dried a lot. It's still the the all the upper level up to the top. Everything is moist. This um they wick really well the moisture, and as you can see, I hope you can see they are wet. Let me show you some dry ones such that you can compare. These are dry ones, unused, and you can see the color difference. I'm sorry my hand is shaking, <laughs> but as you can see, they are all really, really moist. This works so well. And the plant itself seems to be doing really nicely. The roots are in constant moisture. As you can see, the lower lower level is wetter, and it wicks. It wicks really well. The moisture up to the top. 
as you can see the upper ones are also very moist and you can see where they touch the the, the plastic cup how wet they are and it seems to be doing nice even though the roots don't dry in here I understand some like to dry a little but they don't like to be dry too long they have to be sprayed all the time and it's a reason why I wanted to do this I didn't want to waste so much time in the mornings always in a hurry spraying it now I don't have to care about it it lasts about four days or so before I have to put more water and I have not not tried uh, letting it dry completely uh, it wouldn't be wise it's nice to keep it, uh, some level of moisture on them this has been doing really nicely I would like to try some other orchids in semi-hydro but we'll see for now this is my experiment and it's doing nicely thanks for watching bye bye